Hi, today we're just showing the Tectomo her TPM02 programming new sensors, new universal sensors, Huff Tele sense sensors for a Hyundai Tuscan 2018. 2018. Yeah. So um, we're using this Tectomo her tool. There is we also do the the Huff tool, but the good thing about the Tectomo her one is it works with multiple different brands of sensors. So go Hyundai, Tuscan, 15 to 19, 14 to 19, 14 to 19. So yeah, this car, all the sensors are broke or missing out of it. So we have universal sensors, these universal sensors in stock. These are empty when they're sitting on the shelf, so we have to pre prepare them or code program them, code them for this vehicle. So we'll go universal sensor. And then you have all the different brands that it'll work on. See, all the different makes of universal sensors. Some TPMS tools will only do one brand of sensor or only do their own brand of sensor. So you're tied to one make of sensor. But with this one, as you can see, in this case, for this particular vehicle, we have all these options. And for other vehicles, you might even have more. So we're using the Huff IntelliSense sensor. So it's telling us the part number to use. 4040 uh, 40, 40 we're going to use. Uh, the rubber, was it the orange with a steel valve one? Yeah. yeah. So we go enter. So we select the tire. So that's the front right we're going to make one here for. So we have three options. Read the ID off the old sensor. Um, but in this case, we have no old sensor to read a half of. That's where you'd hold the old sensor up to the tool, press it, and it'd read the sense ID off it, and then just write it to the new one. The other option then is random ID, where the tool just makes up an ID, or manual ID entry. That would be if we had the old sensor, we couldn't read it with radio frequency, but we could see the ID written on the, on the old sensor. But in this case, we don't have any old sensor, so we're going to have to use random ID. So that's the code it's going to put into it. Or the ID code is going to put into it. Pick a reason, sensor damage. So that's that sensor programmed. So now we, then we'll just go ahead and program the other three. And when we press enter there, then it's giving us all the details of it. The Huff ID, the configured ID. Um, in this case, it'll have to be learned to the car after. I'll check that in a moment. So now we're going to go ahead and do the next one. Uh, we need four for this vehicle, as all four are missing. So we need to make sure we have the other sensors, the other new sensors, and the ones already programmed kept a good distance away. So we'll go next tire, uh, universal sensor, tele sense, and then we're going to go to rear right, random ID, enter to continue, sensor damage, done, enter to continue. Next tire, universal sensor. Tele sense. Next tire, random ID, counter, sort damaged. Next tire, universal sensor, tele sense, enter to continue, and uh, front left, random ID, sensor damaged. Done. 
So that's the four new sensors prepared for the car. Now, next thing we'll just have to check to see what's the procedure now to learn them to the car. So now we have the new sensors fitted. Just going to test them. Do a car easy check. Check the four sensors together. That one's okay. ID, pressure, temperature. Next one. Okay, next squad, next one. So they're all, all okay. All is left to be done now is uh, the manual, just a manual procedure for learning these new sensors to the vehicle. Uh, is leave the ignition off for 15 minutes and drive for, I think it's about seven or eight kilometers or so and the light should go out. So that's it, uh, these reports and all then that we've just generated here can be saved to the tool, brought to the PC and printed off. So um, that's just a highlight of, of one one of the things that can be done with this tool. Um, there's many other features. Uh, so you can see there we have the car easy check, like we show in testing all the sensors on the car. Or you can just test individual sensors with the sensor check, universal sensor programming. So you can see you can use it with many different brands of sensors. And sorry, the sensor check and the car easy check it's not just reading the aftermarket universal sensors re reads all types of OE sensors as well and then there's also the option for OBD coding and DTC reading and data stream reading so you can buy this tool with or without the OBD function if you have it with the OBD function any vehicles where it's necessary to to code in or learn new sensors via the like OBD port or diagnostic port then you can do with this tool you can read DTCs uh, read data stream relating to TPMS and other other diagnostic functions and then the, the next part you have on it there is called technical data where it will give you uh, OE part numbers for the sensors uh, uh, wheel torques uh, sensor nut torques and um, ver various other technical information and also in some uh, a lot of cases then where this new sensors have to be learned to the vehicle we have manual procedure it'll it'll tell you in 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 the technical data section how this procedure is performed for example that Hyundai you had to um, w wait so many minutes and drive it for a certain distance before the learning so it has this type of information in the technical data as well also then in some cases depending on the vehicle uh, when you fit a new sensor or new universal or aftermarket sense or new universal or OE sensor and it has to be learned to the vehicle via the diagnostic socket certain cases then the diagnostic software will prompt you to activate or wake up the sensor with 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 a tpms tool so it can also perform this function to activate or wake waken the sensor to allow you to program it via the obd so for more information about the technomotor tpms tool you can find it here on our website find more details on it here and also you can see all the all the other TPMS equipment we keep um, so you can see here we also have the Huff TPMS tester um, we have uh, we have some kits 
uh, set up with the starter kits that include the tester sensors uh, the torque tool for the sensors an online training course there's various different kits um, and you can buy these with or without obd functions and uh, they all come with 10 sensors depending on which kit you go for so you can see all the different features there or the different different kits and different uh, equipment we keep for tpms So the sensors then that we, we keep in stock are the HUF, um, now known as BH Sense, IntelliSense sensors. Uh, HUF or BH Sensor have been an OE, an OE supplier for TPMS sensors for many years and also have been manufacturing universal sensors and direct fit sensors to the same OE quality for, for many years also. So. Um, yeah we, we stock we stock their sensors and um on their website there you have a full application list to see um which vehicles the universal sensors will work on and uh, which will they, they do a huge huge range of a range of make makes and models so basically with the universal sensors you only really have to keep two types of sensors in stock uh, one with rubber one with steel steel valve and, and this will probably cover about 90-95 percent of the market but uh, Huff can also s supply and and we can supply some di direct fit sensors also when we say direct fit we mean OE sensors that are already pre pre-programmed or pre-coded but the uh, universal sensors are a huge advantage to save having to stock many different types of sensors and uh, can get you over problem quite quickly so that's about it for today and uh, check out our website for more information. Thank you.